Thank you, guys. Uh, uh, first of all, I would like to thank you, Flip, uh, all the organization to for the invitation to be here and show, uh, give us a chance to show what's going on in the other side of the, <laughs> the planet and how we are moving over there with the legislation, with the business model, with everything. So, and uh, I, I, I am delighted to, to have this presentation here. It's called RWA Developing Latin America Through El Salvador. The Bitcoin country. Uh, every time that I say that I, we have a company in El Salvador, everybody asks, "Oh, but please tell me what's going on over there. How is uh, how is the process over there? There's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of uh, 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 curiosity, and I hope I can clarify some points here for you guys today." Well, first of all, uh, what is in our security? So we call it over there a digital investment exchange. So the, uh, we combine traditional finance uh, uh, with blockchain services, uh, offering capital markets. That's that's the whole point. So, man, why? You were asking me, you're not talking about securitization, and what about uh, uh, other stuffs? So because over there, what happened is we just have a company that is called a DESP, a Digital Asset Service Provider, that has the same process, the same uh, uh, entity and, and qualification in, inside the the central bank and the minister of economy as a bank. So, so this is so we are a kind of tradify, but uh, in a step uh, way ahead because Bitcoin is a legal tender over there. It's a currency. It's a local currency, Bitcoin and U.S. dollars. So, so uh, our company offers. Uh, two types of services. So, in the part of uh, infrastructure, we provide custody. We are custodians, custodians of the tokens, uh, the STOs, the digital assets, everything. So, we we have every everything that is issued for the investors, in favor of the investors, might be issued custodied inside our company where we are responsible for that. This is part of the, the, the soft lending to the digital assets uh, plan inside the, the, the commission, the digital assets commission. So we have to hold this in favor of the investor. Uh, settlements, so also we have the, 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 the important role play in settlements. Uh, when we call it settlements here, we are talking about not uh, only a smart contract, a full programmable, programmable but we also have a secure token that can be only, you know, uh, issued from some issuer, uh, just being a collateral of a paper. So this is something that we have to control the settlements uh, f in favor, again, in favor of the investor. So all the, the, the worries, all the law was de developed to protect the, the investors, not the issuers. So this is, this is the whole point. Uh, also, we, we can promote, we can trading, uh, we distribute in public and private uh, offerings. We offer investments as in lending, uh, financing, and provide secondary markets and also derivatives if we want to open, okay? So uh, also inside the company, we have another place that we call eBanks. Uh, it's a service that we help the clients that would like to make the, some some tokenized, uh, some tokenization, tokenize their projects, things like that. 
So we help them since the advisory, consultancy, structuring, in which blockchain, how it is going to make, uh, to where uh, is going to be distributed, how it's going to be distributed, uh, everything. So we help them like an IB of the bank. Okay. Well, now I'm going to start to talk about, this was a brief introduction about the company. Now I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about El Salvador. Okay. So this is, I am not from Senat, I'm not from the Commission, I'm not from the Central Bank. I'm talking about the private perspective, okay, here. Well, uh, when uh, the president uh, launched the law, the Bitcoin law, uh, uh, putting uh, the Bitcoin as a legal tender, uh, and as a currency, a local currency, it became a very huge deal for the country, for the nation, for the region, for everything, because uh, this, this gave other perspective to the country. The country was in civil war until before the, 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 his government, and he started with this leadership to bring uh, to El Salvador, a vision to be a Singapore of Latin America, and how they, he could do that with TradFi, forget. So, but with crypto, he really believed that he could do that. So then he launched the Bitcoin law, and he uh, invited some uh, crypto uh, experts in, in all over the, the world to be part of that, so we were one of that. <laughs> we believed on this, his dream. It was not uh, politi political stuff. It was a, also an ideology, a, a government uh, perspective for the future, and we embrace that, and we support that. But this came with something very strong. Uh, we we started to build all this Bitcoin law, those, so the currency statement, and also the digital asset framework, the regulatory framework, with the democracy and freedom. It means that we respect a lot inside the framework, the regulatory framework, the cross-border uh, uh, that, that is, is, is one of the things that the technology provide for us. So this is, we believe that everyone can have their own capability to invest in capital markets. So we are not talking about customer suitability. So we have public offerings very in a very easy way to do it worldwide and globally if we want. So, and in some point, we start to have in this development uh, very friction with the traditional market, the incumbents, the banks, the stock exchange, the local stock exchange, and the government decide to do something very, uh, very strong, but it worked. So he, just uh, build, decided to build a new regulatory framework from the top of the, to the technology, uh, not considering the legacy. So those companies are down the, this, this new commission, and this commission developed the regulatory framework, and they have the same status as banks and, and, and tradings and, and stock exchange, but in the, in, at, at this new matter. So with new custody policies, with new settlement policies, with new uh, bankrupt for, uh, policies, with new collection policies, with new customer protection policies, a lot of things 
is, is according to the technology and how technology can provide. Uh, other thing, uh, El Salvador is too small, uh, from the world to the world. So everything that is ha happening over there is embrace road projects from all over the world to be distributed to all over the world. So it's just a hub trade finance. And it's mandatory to build this soft and safe transition, uh, tokenized assets and smart contracts. And here is a point, a very sensitive point. Uh, as we have a Bitcoin as a currency, El Salvador is at the spotlight, so everybody is in the world is waiting for something wrong happen over there. So <laughs> this is very well uh, supervisioned over there, and the players are very strong supervision as us over, over there because they want they 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 cannot may have a mistake. So this is how how it was this the past five years. So to became what we are right now. So this can be strange, but this is the the the, the regulatory framework. So this is how, how also other works with the players. So actually all, we, all, do you, all you know in the securities like uh, securitization, asset managers, uh, managers, fund managers, uh, everything is resumed here right now. We have an issuer is the entity that is that has a project or a company that is issuing some token. We have the DASP. The DASP is the digital asset service provider that is the only uh, uh, entity that can distribute, promote, custody, and do everything uh, to to the environment. We have the advisor and certified uh, uh, companies that works for the public offerings. And we have CNAD, that is the regulator, that authorize or not authorize, supervise everything. So this is the very new financial framework. This is incredible. I love this. I, I, I just love this picture. Because everything that is very complicated right now, it's very simple. Well, first we have the CNAD, National Commission for Digital Assets. It's the regulator. Uh, he built the rules and the norms. His supervision, authorize and cancel companies, register and audit companies and its business ongoing. So this is so this this part of this the the authorization uh, at the beginning was a very crowd stuff. You know, a lot of companies from all over the world would like to register a company over there, and of course. We received a lot of scammers over there, so we start to clean every everybody, and we raise the bar. And right now we have a few players over there working. Okay, uh, so Senad canceled a lot of uh, companies, DASPs, and issuers, everything. Okay, uh, we have. Weekly audits with uh, with Synod. We have daily tapering, uh, online tapering with them, with our vaults, with our transactions, with our uh, travel rule uh, of our uh, wallets and everything. So it's 
It's a, it's a very tough. And it's expensive. I, I always tell them, it's better you guys give me a bank license. It's cheaper. So it's, it's, but anyhow, it, it's working. So we have the DASP, the Digital Asset Service Provider, in RS1. So we do primary offerings, as I told you, public, in a public or in a private way. Uh, public is, takes more time. It's a little bit more expensive. Uh, but it's more efficient. Private has, uh, we have a lot of incentive, tax exemption, so it's, it's going very fast, so we can do like a private uh, bond or a private, private issuance, syndicated issuance in, in, in one day over there. It's very incredible. We can custody. Uh, we are custodians, we, as I told you, settlement services, we offer investments, loans, we exchange, we have secondary markets and derivatives. And this is, I highlighted here, uh, we are allowed to do for clients and investors, for local and foreign. This discussion is very hard to, 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 to align uh, especially us that we are, we are also discussion license, we are in other jurisdictions and things like that. So, but what is the point here? If I want to buy Tesla, it's just, you know, open account at interactive brokers in the United States, wire my money over there and they're gonna allow me to buy Tesla. at the same time. And why the rest of the world cannot do the same, the investors cannot do the same with me? So that's the question here. So we, we have a framework that allow us, allows us to do that. So we have, of course, Sinad has discussion with the others the other commissions, the other, the other regulators, and to, to, to better this, this approach, but this is how we stand. Now we have the issuer. This is the good stuff. So issuer is considered any project or company. So if you have a DAO, if you have a DeFi project, if you have a, a, a debit, if you have a bond, if you have an equity, whatever. So you have to constitute an issuer over there. An issuer is a company, a local company registered at El Salvador. It can be an SPV, LLC, whatever. So you just open a company, you register, and you approve your project with Sinan and become a reg, uh, an issuer. As soon as you become an issuer, you do your uh, commercial agreement with a DASP and a DASP authorize, decides if it's gonna distribute you or not. So it depends of the risk. And the risk, we have other guy that is the certifier this guy is the guy that mitigates everything. But uh, let me just f finish here. Uh, during those years, um, we, we had some, some friction with companies to open new companies inside El Salvador to become an issue over there to launch their projects. More costs, uh, they don't have nothing in El Salvador. Uh, El Salvador, it, it was, you know, in, in, in other mode. So th then we decided to, to open for foreign issuers. That's the case that we have with Beckett. So there is another structure of law that the DASPs, can be required from foreign issuers to distribute. 
and we have to fuel it up uh, a, a business model and take care of this distribution and approve with the C9. Once we do that, we are allowed to distribute in the secondary market or whatever in agreement that we do. Right now with Beckett, we are distributed in, in just in our instant buy. So they buy with the reference price that is happening in ease right now. All the, all the family Beckett, so Google, Microsoft, everything. But we are planning to open a, a, a secondary market and a spot book with different also price being traded over there. And maybe a leverage for that. So the certifier, it's a project risk mitigation. I, I try, I, sometimes I try to explain to someone what is the certifier. Certifier is like the rating agents plus the outed. So <laughs> it's the same guy. So it's a company that first do the certification of your project. There is a manual that you you have to obey and comply uh, according to to the risk mitigation and this certification uh, just at the state if you are in compliance with the law norms and rules just that and the second they evaluate the risk uh, according to the project issues, they give you a rate for that, not for CNAD, but for the customers, for the investors. So the risk of this project is going to be high risk, low risk, uh, conservative risk, whatever. So they just do that. And CNAD has, uh, and if it is all okay, CNAD just approve, and again, commercial side with the DESP. So also foreign uh, companies or foreign traders or for foreign distributors uh, or foreign bankers that we are discussing right now are just can be distributed not as an issuer, but uh, through the DESP. Okay, we can do it right now. It's, it's going to be the next implementation. Well, we have some use cases here. Uh, we have a lot, but I put the, the, the most famous. Uh, the Volcano Bond, uh, I think Sam Told, mentioned it yesterday, uh, it's part of his idea, the Volcano Bond. It's a sovereign bond issued by the government. It's not listed yet, but it's issued already. Okay, so there is no exchange, investment exchange or DASP uh, offering right now. We had a soy. Uh, ESOI was the first public offering issuance of commodities from e grains uh, regulated. It was $100 million uh, backed by soybeans at silos and, and futures contracts. We had uh, Hotel Hilton did a, a public offering also for debt for a local hotel who distributed was Bitphoenix Securities and Dito Banks. And foreign, we do have right now on the finance, USDY listed at NR Securities and back at FI, all products listed at NR Securities. Actually, we do have only two big players over there. That is uh, Bitfinex Securities and, and, and in our securities. So, well, private offerings, I can just close her here because they are private, but we had uh, 
accumulated since we started year, a year ago, uh, 350 million dollars in debts, okay, in private debts and syndicated loans. And one for aviation company. What is the good thing here is the tax exemption. Uh, every loan uh, issued in digital asset, in digital for, for format, uh, the capital gains over the, the interest rate, the, over the yield for the, for the, the, the investor, he, he pays zero for that. This is, this is why it's becoming very normal that. Okay. Well, I, I hope, you know, it was a very quickly and briefly, so if you need to talk about El Salvador framework, everything, so we had to discuss a lot more because it's very, very different. But uh, I think it's a, it's it's a pleasure to be with you guys and share. And I can tell you something: see what you guys are doing here, and see what are we are doing over there. It's a kind of complete different. And our challenge, uh, the challenge of our uh, 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 our people, our colleagues here, is to make the world work synchronized because everything is going to be <laughs> being transferred cross border worldwide, same time in five years, and it doesn't matter. Uh, so, and we're going to have to standard, you know, make a standard for everything because otherwise it's going to become a mess, and we're going to lose the control to the investors. This is the whole point. Okay, thank you. If you guys have any question, any inquiry, my contacts over there, and my time's over. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much.